Okay, there's some kind of an error going on. I have yet to determine which one it is because I got a paper bill delivered to my address seven or eight days because my service was activated on the 24th of May, but I got a bill closing date of the first paper bill. But on the computer, it says my closing date is on the 23rd. So the 23rd is when I should have got the full bill for the um, for my home internet service. So until they either prorate it and if it's prorated, they got to give me the proper amount if they're planning on changing my my closing date. And I should not be penalized because I'm refusing to pay an entire month of Internet usage when it, when I haven't received an entire Internet month, uh, an entire month of Internet service from my closing date to my activation date. Do you understand? There's a problem there. And somebody else... It's, it's probably encoding, and somebody else's bill got transferred to mine, and mine got transferred to theirs. So they extended their their um, uh, closing date, and their amount is still be the same. So they can't just adjust mine. They have to remove my bill that states closing date of the 1st and paid by the 19th and make my closing date back to original of the 23rd. Because you cannot affect somebody's credit rating when the computer error is inside the computer inside Bell and they've changed my closing date and they can't change the closing date and, and make it thing. When they told me I was going to get a bill, uh, it's pay after, and I've activated it. It was installed on the 24th of May. Now I got a closing date of June the 1st and it's for the full month service. That's impossible. So there's, an, there's, there's somehow a bill swap between me and somebody else within inside the Bell uh, organization there, and, and, and they're not seem to realize it. 